Double-breasted versus single-breasted jackets. Which one is better? Gentlemen, that's the subject of today's video. Let me start this video off by saying, I know this is a pea coat. It's a double-breasted coat, not a double-breasted suit jacket. But I didn't have a double-breasted suit jacket here in the office. And I want to show you guys the two things that separate double-breasted jackets from single-breasted jackets. And that big thing that you need to zero in on is the buttons and the overlap of the material, the flaps in the front. This jacket right here has eight total buttons, four on each side. Now, on a double-breasted suit jacket, you're usually going to see six. Sometimes you'll see four if it's a custom job. That's what you're looking for is the buttons right here. And with the buttons, we also have the overlap of the fabric. On a single-breasted jacket, it comes together like this jacket right here. At this point, we only have working buttons. With double-breasted, you not only have working buttons, but you also have buttons that are there for just pure decoration to create the symmetry of the look. Also, notice that excess flap of material that kind of goes up there and tightens this up, brings up the V, but that is caused basically by this build in the front, and that's what you want to zero in on. On a typical double-breasted suit, we're going to see two functional buttons. Now, when you open up the jacket, you may sometimes in there see an anchor button. An anchor button is just there to actually give a little bit more support. It's not something anyone's going to see, but you'll want to use that because it's going to basically make and help the jacket last longer. Oftentimes, you'll see eight or more buttons, but you will almost always see this universal where the buttons right here that are functional go straight up and down, and then actually at the top, the non-functional are going to go slightly out. This is a Y format. Now, this is key because if you're ever going to buy a double-breasted jacket, you always want to make sure it's got the Y formation. Do not buy a double-breasted jacket that has the V formation. It doesn't look good. The Y formation is what you're looking for in that button placement. Really quick, three other quick guidelines with double-breasted suit jackets. Number one, always go with peak lapels. Number two, when it comes to vents, either go with the double vent or go with no vent. And number three, the pockets. You can go with jetted pockets. You can go with flat pockets. Never go with patch pockets. Now, let's get into the comparison. Which one is better, the double-breasted or the single-breasted jacket? Whoa, 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 Antonio, I want to learn more about the double-breasted jacket. If you want more, go check out my website, realmenrealstyle.com. I've got all these free eBooks. I've got these free courses. I've got a free app. I've got a podcast. I have so much more than my YouTube channel right here, guys. So, I'm linking to all of those resources down in the description of this video. It's just got so many different things, so many great different resources you could be leveraging. All right, so enough about my website, my awesome free tools for you. Let's get finally into the comparison. Let's talk about all the advantages of the single-breasted jacket. The easy one is it's more common. So, because it's more common, it's going to be easier to find your size. There are going to be better prices simply because this isn't anything that's outside the norms. Now, when it comes to single-breasted jackets, you're going to see one button, two button, and three button. In most of menswear, we're going to see two or three buttons. Yes, so don't worry about the one button unless you're a really short individual. Then you may find a custom piece and the one button just may look better proportionally. Three button jackets I think are fine if you're in great shape, if you like the look of it, but the two button jacket is where it's at. And the other advantage of the single breasted jacket, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. So, that's why I love the single breasted jacket. Now, the double-breasted jacket, why would you want to get one of these? Because it is less common. You want to be more fashion forward. You want to be the guy that maybe is drawing a bit more attention to himself, then go for it. It is still actually perfectly fine. Another thing with the double-breasted jacket, because it's more formal, you cannot wear this without wearing neckwear. So, you can't dress it down like you can with a single-breasted jacket, a single-breasted sports jacket. Now, who's this going to be right for? Let's talk about your sizes and your proportions. If you are a small man, you need to make sure it's proportionally built to you. You may have to go custom, maybe just four buttons right there. A double-breasted jacket, when cut and tailored correctly, can make you look amazing. It does a great job of hiding excess weight. The fabric that overlaps can look really good. So, if you're a bigger man, Go for it. If you are a shorter man, make sure you pay attention to all the proportion details. 
So what's my verdict? Well, guys, there's a reason I don't own any double-breasted jackets because it's just not something that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of and it's going to stand out too much. But hey, if you wear a suit every day and you've got seven suits in your wardrobe, why not add this as your eighth suit? Yeah, it's going to grab a little bit more attention, but you could rock this once, maybe twice a month. Keep it with a very solid color so it doesn't draw too much attention. I think it's a great suit that a man can pull off. And guys, if you want to learn more about men's style, go check out Real Men Real Style. I'm linking to my website down in the description. I have so many tools, infographics, my free app, my podcast, so many great things that you can be leveraging, my free course. When you take these courses, you actually apply yourself. You become the man you know yourself to be, that better dressed man who walks into a room and owns his image. That's what I want to see, guys. Take care. I will see you in the next video.